Hello, my friends, and welcome to Morning Coffee. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing, I'm doing well. Thought I'd go ahead and go live. Thought we'd have some coffee together. And it's also a smoker's lounge, so smoke them if you got them. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got going today. Let's see what we have going today. Los Cal Couples Award Show from Black Onion. Let's go ahead and start there. Hey, Granny Whisperer, how you doing? No problem whatsoever. It's springtime and love is in the air. You know, baby birds, baby rabbits, uh, baby chickmunks, and baby bears. Springtime is for love. Springtime is for couples. Springtime is for romance. And that's why I've started the springtime poll. I've picked three couples. Stabby and Corky. Um, John Kachala and Bon Helton. Um, Rev and Shani. And Cobes and Jessica. Three or four of the biggest Lowell's Cow couples out there. So this spring, yeah, we're I know, McGrady, into her. comedy. I know. I'm doing a poll, and that poll will lead to a show. She asked to join the Discord, and I told her it wasn't a good idea. And I still don't think it's a good idea because there's just enough bullshit going on. We don't need any more. I mean, we seriously don't need any more. And this is just getting, like, off the chain. Mm -hmm. Where we will reveal the winners in each category. There are 10 categories to choose from. So please vote on all 10 polls if you can. There's probably some you can't decide. I'm sure of that. But if you can decide, pick your favorite couple. It's in the community tab on this channel. Uh, enjoy. And I've, we're, I'm planning a great celebration of spring. And see which Lowell's Cow couple comes out winning. Y'all have a good day. And a better tomorrow. Nick doesn't like it that, you know, I call him out on his bullshit and he doesn't like it that I respond to his bullshit. And he probably doesn't like it that I, that I've called his girlfriend a, uh, um, uh, skunk ape. And he probably doesn't like that I've called him a prick. And, you know, shit like that. You know. Same shit I do every day. Call him, a, call him a prick. Call him a loser. 
telling me that I know what the fuck he's talking about. Just the same old shit. Yeah, regular shit. It's nothing any more than I've been doing already. It's just the same old shit. He just won't fucking stop. The mouth won't fucking stop. And here's an example of him talking about me and fucking uh, Darren. Is well, well, well. Oh, Corky. He thinks he's clever. He thinks he's funny. Oh, sometimes he is funny, but. Uh, that comes natural with Corky, you know. He just his natural quirky, funny self. Get all the skin under there. Okay, this is a black onion for those of you who don't know. And what gets me is that he is. That's the first. That's the first thing he does is 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 starts putting people in sexual situations. He can't think of anything else to nail me on, so he sits there and puts puts me in sexual situations, blue in sexual situations. He's put me in blue in sexual situations. He's put me in black onion in sexual situations. That's fucking bullshit, man. You don't talk shit about my fucking marriage. I'm married. I've been with my man for years, years, not months years over a fucking decade you bastard I wouldn't have been with him over a fucking decade if I didn't want to be with him trust me on this one I don't like a movie I get up and walk Now, if I couldn't keep it in my pants, I sure as hell wouldn't be fucking married. My eyes are for one man and one man only. My smile is for one man and one man only. Maybe you and Sabella got some kind of little weird thing going on, but that doesn't mean the rest of us do. Um, I'm a semi-pro wrestler who fights small cows. Hey, Randall. I didn't pick this life. It picked me. But anyway, let's listen to the clip, and then I'm going to critique it. So recently, uh, Rabbit Old Bat said that she could have a, quote, railroad spike through with the center of her forehead uh, straight through into her brain sticking out the backside i guess uh and still be smarter than me um if she wants to test that theory hey i'm all for that i'm all for it uh uh nick put a fucking shirt on you look like a roast chicken let's let's see if it's the case uh in reality also i've noticed darren's wife never shows up on youtube is Rabbit Old Bat Darren's wife? Is there a conspiracy here? Maybe. 
Whoa, who's having the light show? Well, uh, Corky, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. So, Let's go through your video and let me show you where you're at error. So recently, uh, Rabbit Old Bat said that she could have a quote railroad spike through with the center of her forehead, uh, straight through into her brain, sticking out the backside, I guess, uh, and still be smarter than me. Um, if she wants, it's called hyperbole. Y'all know what hyperbole is? Google it. Just to test that theory, hey, I'm all for that. I'm all for it. Uh, One, it's not a theory. She was just making a quote. It's, it's a saying that people will say. Because Corky, rabbit old bat, as well as most people, are smarter than you. Okay, you get money from the government because you're not that smart. Now, you can't play both, you know. Either... Cork, you're dipshit, like everybody thinks you are. <laughs> or you're this smart intellectual, which nobody thinks you are. You see, Corky, you're so dumb, you fell for Tim Maris's trick. Tim Maris is no criminal mastermind. He's just a moron trying to find an easy way to make money. He's a criminal, yes. Just like you are, you're a criminal. He's, he's a worse criminal than you are. But... See, you're dumb enough to fall for that game. Anybody who has an IQ and over whatever you got would know that you signed the paper, <laughs> make, signed the papers, and he didn't sign anything. You know, um, because well, so far so good, guys. I've not picked up the ganja yet. Not gonna pick up the ganja. Oh, and it's so tough to take while being not being high. Because he's protecting himself. You are dumb enough to fall for that. You're not a passy. You're a stooge. Okay. There, that's one. And you're getting money from the government because you're not too well. You know, now that you got Sabella there, and if Nick grew out his hair, he'd kind of look like Larry Fine. He would. He would look like Larry Fine. And Sabella kind of looks like Curly Joe. You got two of the Stooges right there. All you need is a Mo Howard, and you're all fucking set. Right. You get your... Disability? What's your disability? Your low intellect. That's why you get a government check every month. How much of it you're taking? How much of it you're I don't know. I'm not. I'm not an expert in those areas. But you know, she wasn't saying she was literally going to put a spike in her head, dipshit. She was saying if that if she was brain dead from a spike going through her head, she'd still be smarter than you. That's what she was saying. Okay. Um, if I was brain dead. And I'll, I'll, I'll agree. that If I was brain dead, I would still be smarter than you, Nick. I would. I fucking would. Anybody be smarter than you. Hell, my men pen's got more common sense than you. At least he knows when he's going to bite off more than what he can chew. He knows enough. He, he knows enough to know when, uh, when he's outmatched and outclassed.
which is more than I can say for you, my friend. You never know when to shut the fuck up. Ever. You know, you should seriously consider quit quitting while you're behind. Rabbit old bat is definitely smarter than you. Let's let's see if it's the case. Uh, in reality. Also, no, I have not said I've noticed Garrett's life. wife never shows up on YouTube. And if you were smarter than somebody with a smite spike. I have not I have not said my good mornings. Oh my god. I am really off my game. Good morning, Granny Whisperer. Uh, Granny Flowers, Mantis, Randall Gary, good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's great having you. Oh, wow. You'd think if I was off the pot that I'd be more, that I'd be more on top of things. Oh, it's to Sabella and Nick. Hey, Sabella. Hey, Nick. How y'all doing? Hey, I have a good show planned for you today. So don't miss it. And uh, always believe in yourself. Mic sticking out of your head. You would <laughs> um, you would know. Hey, my ass is dragging. Before. My wife doesn't want anything to do with my YouTube world. Neither does rabbit old bat's husband. A lot of people. You know, this is my thing. My wife doesn't want anything to do with it. She's not going to show up on camera ever. Okay. My husband, this morning, first thing he said to me is, are you going to put that application in? And he basically almost stood over me while I did it, seeing that I did it. He did. He basically stood over me while I did it, making sure I did it. <laughs> he wants me to come work out there bad. And we won't even be in the same damn departments or on the same damn shift. My, my, uh, Nephew-in-law works out there. He's thrilled about me coming out there and working. And all his buddies know about me. Everybody fucking knows about me. And I'm not a hard person to get along with. I can't wait to start in, to get back into factory work where it's more stable. You don't get to know what my wife looks like. You don't need to know what my wife looks like. You don't even need to know if I have a wife or not. Because that's none of yous. <laughs> no one, none of the YouTube, none of my YouTube friends, none of my YouTube lol cows know what my wife looks like and they never will. She's in the house right now, several rooms over that way, working, doing her uh, job. She works from home. We have our life we spend a lot of time together. When I'm, but I have my little YouTube thing going. She hasn't. She does have any part of it. Now, Rabbit Old Bat, her husband shows up in the background. He might walk through the room because she, you know, does her thing in the living room. I do this back in my art studio. Hey, mermaid soul. So, you know, this is the back of the house. You had to come into this room on purpose because it's basically an extra bedroom. It was it was the master bedroom, but it was originally a garage, and then the garage was a one car garage. It was converted into a room that has a utility room, a bathroom, and this big open area here in one window. Um, that's more information than you even need to know about me. Unlike you and other Lowell's cows. Me and Rabbit Old Bat don't put our whole lives out there on YouTube for everybody to see. You do, and then when people comment about it, you cry and whine about it. Is Rabbit Old Bat Darren's wife? Is there a conspiracy here? Maybe. 
No, rabbit old bats, not my wife. Not that she she's desirable and I, I won't even go there, but she's not a bad looking woman. But she's somebody else's wife. I don't even think about that. Okay. Maybe in another lifetime, maybe something. Who knows? But she has a husband. She loves her husband. I love my wife. Uh, you've only been in a relationship for like a few months. You don't know why. Anything about that, the dynamics of a relationship. We understand that. Okay. Um, but, you know, you need to stop this shit. Saying that different people are my wife or different people are different. I'm, you know what? I'm glad he's not coming through my state. We don't, we don't need the stink. Different people, salami nuggets, um, supposed to be Brett Keen. You're just stupid when you do that. You don't realize how stupid that is. Okay. I'm Black Onion, the professional Lowell's Cal wrestler. And you're Corky, the professional Lowell's Cal. That's all you need to know about the Black Onion. And Rabbit Old Bat can speak for herself. Because I'm sure this will be covered. You know, you put your shit out there, people are going to watch it on YouTube. YouTube's a public thing. You got plenty of videos out there <laughs> from shit you put on YouTube. Same you know, thing, flowers, channels, same. Those videos are still around. Oh my God. They're still just as funny today as they were when they were made. You know, let me give you a little advice there, Corky. Don't nuke all your channels. You know, Corky, you wonder why I cover the stuff from 10 years ago. Because it's fucking funny. That's why. Because it's fucking funny. That's why I cover it. Because it's fucking funny. It makes people laugh. And the jokes write themselves. Now, you got it? You could be making YouTube money right now, people laughing at your content. But you nuke your channels every couple of years because you get butt hurt because someone calls you out on your bullshit. And quit calling everybody a fel or a, a criminal when you're the one with the felony, okay? All right, Corky, you have a good day and a better tomorrow. You have set up a charge. <laughs> Below us. Something I'm sure the State Department would frown upon. Figure it out. Black Onion. He is such a, a nice, nice man. Hey, Corky, this is more of a serious video. This is off the cuff, not rehearsed, just improv. I was listening to your video, <laughs> Nick Bravo, Rabbit. Why do you always have to put Nick Bra Nicholas Bravo at the entrance of all your videos? It's because you're a narcissist. But anyway, I digress. It says Rabbit Old Bat has no honor, no valor, no courage, only shame and failure as a veteran. What the fuck? You, we all know your view on veterans, okay? You do not like veterans. So anybody who's a veteran out there should not subscribe to Nick. Should not like any of his videos, but dislike all his videos. And anybody who's a veteran should talk shit about Nick. Because Nick I talks do shit on about the fucking veterans. daily. A guy named uh, Tom Davis, a good Samaritan, 
who's doing what he's supposed to do, turning in a criminal, Nick Bravo. Uh, you know, and Nick Bravo slandered the hell out of uh, that guy, didn't he? Oh, yeah, you go just search up Corky Bravo videos and you'll find him talking about Nick Davis or um, Nick Davis, Tom Davis, threatening to kill Tom Davis, calling Tom Davis every name in the book. But the biggest hang up that that Corky had about Tom Davis was the fact that Tom Davis was a veteran. And what does he have to say about Rabbit Old Bat? He could talk about her looks. He could talk about a lot of things about her. But what is his hang up about Rabbit Old Bat? The fact that she's a veteran. Well, listen here, Corky boy. I'm a veteran too. And there's a lot of other veterans out here. I don't know. YouTube I haven't heard anything Voyager, about it. Or wherever right. the hell you people watch you at. Dude, you are a Lowell's cow. You, you like Nick Geek out the Lowell's cow. You are. You call. Tom Davis is the guy that turned him in for, for the fraud. He's one of the people that made sure that he he went to prison for fraud. That's why he hates Tom Davis so much. It's because he's one of the ones that made sure that he went he went away for fraud. He should have went away for fraud. You don't take shit that don't fucking belong to you. The hell you think this is? Corky. Think I'm just going to walk into the middle of downtown, point at a fucking house and say, I'm just going to take that one and sell it? Not knowing who it fucking belongs to? Is that how it's done? Just to, just walk downtown and say, oh, I'll take that one right there. Then take it. That's what that's that's what you're basically doing. Oh, I'll take that one. As owners, oh well, fuck it. I'll put my name on the deed. Nobody'll know. It was a kill, remember? Call people Lowell's cows, but you are a Lowell's cow, Nick. You're a man child. And you say that people can't talk shit about Sabella. Well, I'm going to talk shit about that ugly old bitch, that battle axe girlfriend you have, because I'll keep talking shit about her as long as she has me blocked on Gmail. And she is a hatchet faced battle axe. Man's channel. See, anything between me and G-Man has nothing to do with you or her, but she uses that because that's the only power she's got. And I will give her one warning. She better watch out because once the honeymoon's over, Nick Bravo's going to become an abuser too, Sabella. So get ready. Maybe that's what you like. Maybe that's why you pick those kind of men. Because Nick Bravo's a narcissist. He's going to be abusive eventually. Right now, you're feeding his ego, so you're safe. But once that wears off, usually about after a year you've been together, then he's going to become a different person. It's going to end up within the next two, three years that he's going to make videos about you calling you all kinds of names and making fun of you because that's how Nick does. Look at all his relationships with friends in the past. They've all ended in disaster because Nick Bravo is a is a terrible person. Nick Bravo is a criminal. He calls Blue a criminal, but Nick Bravo's the criminal. Nick Bravo's obsessed with Blue. We all You know what? Blue didn't steal a fucking house neither. Blue doesn't go panting after girls a third his age or half his damn age. Blue's a stand-up guy. Everybody be like Blue. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all, all Blue did was call Nick Bravo on his bullshit, and Nick Bravo's been triggered for over a year about it. 
Blue didn't do anything to Nick Bravo. Why is why is Nick Bravo so obsessed with Blue? Because Nick because Blue held a ne- mirror up to Nick Bravo's face, and Nick Bravo didn't like what he saw. That's it in a nutshell, isn't it? Nick Bravo, Corky Bravo. Hey, Corky, you don't like being called Corky, do you, Corky? Too bad you can't do anything about it. You know, whenever I first told my husband about this this little tete a tete with um, Corky, and I told him about Nick Bravo. And I showed him who Nick Bravo was. He goes, that's an awfully bombastic name for such a little twerp. His exact words. You would name yourself something like that. Give yourself a damn stripper's name. You can make a video about me and then I'll just make a video about about you back and I'll get a whole bunch of views for it and people will laugh and have a good time because <laughs> you're, you're just making a fool of yourself. That's all you do. You're an idiot criminal who tries to call everybody else bad things. See, why don't you take a look in the mirror one time, Nick Bravo? All you do is project, project, project. Everything you call other people is what you are. Oh, what's your thing about me about having sex perhaps? I really didn't care about that. You know, that was just that just shows how stupid you and Sabella are. Because that's what you go to. I shoot you with facts and you shoot me with you fuck rabbits. Or else you're like, you're old. You're you're dish age. Well, you know, you're going to be this age too, not very long, dude. You know, and that's something else. Nick, you do realize you're going to be, you're going to be uh, 57 at some point, right? You do realize that. And you're not that far behind me. I'm 56. I'll be 57 in November. Why the fuck you call me old? When you're old, too. You act more like a fucking boomer than I do. You really fucking do. You act like a dirty old fucking man. Is what you fucking act like, Nick. You act like a dirty old fucking man. So you think that's something because you're younger than me that somehow that makes you better? You're not better than nobody, Nick. And you're not definitely not a man of good conscience and good character. And I say again, anybody who's a veteran needs to strike down every video he's got. Just go to the channel and strike down every channel if you're a veteran. If you have relatives who've served in the military, strike down. I don't mean U.S. veteran military. Canadian military, the Soviet military, Israeli video military, Palestinian video military, um, Ukrainian military, um, Slavic military, Hungarian, I don't care, East African military, whatever military you're served. Hey, coffee artist, how you Mexican federalities, whatever. If you served in the military, if you have family members who served in the military, if you have loved ones who served in the military, if you just like the military, whatever, anything, if you have anything to do with the military, strike his every channel, every video he's got down. So he gets nothing but uh, thumbs downs all the way down. I'm not saying strike his uh, channel down because I need it up there because his, his commentary is just hilarious and it's great to make content with because he's so damn stupid and does so many stupid things and says so many stupid things. He does. Nobody in the fucking world thinks the way those two think. Sabella, I don't give a flying fuck who taught you how taught you to screenshot every fucking conversation and to record every fucking conversation. That shit's not fucking normal. 
And this is coming from someone who's not normal. You paranoid bitch. At least you can say this for me. I wear my hostility on my fucking sleeve. I don't buddy troll you. I tell you like it fucking is. And I'm sorry you don't fucking like it. That's just too damn bad. Grow the fuck up. And, you know, Savella's not quite as stupid, or she's more quiet. Maybe she's quiet, stupid, compared to him being a loudmouth stupid. I don't know. But hey, stupid Corey. is a stupid dates each other, I guess. Because, you know, there, I talked about Sabella. What you going to do about it, pussy? Oh, that's right, nothing. <laughs> well, oh, I'm not afraid to go back to prison. <laughs> hey, Guido. What, are you going to piss buddy? yourself again? <laughs> You aren't afraid to go back to prison. My fucking ass. Bitch, you'll just piss yourself and get put in fucking ag seg again. You'll get put in you'll put you'll be put in segregation again. Because you're too big a pussy to handle it out in the gin pop. I mean, really, God damn! I'm not afraid to go back to prison. Bruce would mop the floor with you, and I don't defend Bruce. I don't even know shit about Bruce. I've only seen one video. It's where the cops are out to his house. That's the only video I've ever seen. I think I've seen glimpses from him being in the geek room, and I don't really watch the geek room. I have a problem with them, but that's personal, so I'm not going to go into it. But, um, you know, they, they stabbed me in the back years ago when I was supporting them and sending them money and stuff. So that I shouldn't have, that's more than I should have given out. But anyway. I've been saying for months that those two are fucking shady. Mm -hmm. And I told Sabella to her fucking face that I wouldn't be friends with somebody that, that records every fucking conversation. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. That's not a fucking friend. Friendships are built on fucking trust. If you don't have trust, you have nothing. So in essence, Sabella, you have no friends. Um, I don't. You know, you're putting out great content lately. Good, laughable shit. And you're not even trying to be funny. You know what's funny is when you try to be funny, you're not funny. But when you're not trying to be funny, you're funny as hell. You're regular stand-up. You gotta just go talk about your, you know, your intellectual stuff. <laughs> Where you don't know what you're talking about, but you keep talking about it. Your um, existential uh, bullshit you try to talk about makes yourself look smart. And it doesn't work because obviously a little bit of research, people can find out how much bullshit you're pulling. You have all these books, but you don't even understand half of them. I got books. I'm smart. Look at all my books. I yeah, and I have a Kindle with a lot of books on it. Print is dead. I'm Nick Bravo. I'm Corky Feaster. <coughs> I mean, really, Nick. You are just a fucking you're 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 just a you're a criminal, but a stooge, okay? Yeah, I've done some videos about Tim Mary ass, Mary ass, Tim Mary ass, because he's a fucking criminal too. He's not a criminal mastermind. He's just smarter than you, Nick. That doesn't make him a criminal mastermind. You know. 90% of the population is smarter than you, and all the criminals in that 90% aren't masterminds necessarily. 
He just knew you were a stooge and you would sign the papers. And he got half the money and you took all the risk. How stupid is that? You know, you should have, when you said, I signed the papers, I'm keeping a, a bigger share of this money. And you should have kept your mouth shut and you could still have that Mustang today. Well, you couldn't. You would have. If it had been me, and I would not engage in criminal activity, I wouldn't. I would never have signed that deed. I would never have forged those papers. But if I had, this is how I would go by the fucking numbers. For one, there would only be a 70-30 split. 70 going my way, since I'm taking all the risk. Then I would get, as soon as I collected my money, I would be out of fucking town. My bags would be fucking packed the day I knew I would be receiving the money. And I'd be out of there like a fucking shot. You would never see or hear from me again. And nobody would know what I did. Nobody. And I wouldn't do it again. Wrecked it because you don't know how to drive worth a shit. So a little bit more horsepower would have more chance of you wrecking that piece of shit car you had. And you didn't get to keep it. Huh? Isn't it funny? All that money you had. What did you have? Like $200,000? And you spent it in less than a month. And you don't have anything to show for it. Maybe a few books on your bookshelf you bought. That's about it. That, that if. All right. Let me play devil's advocate and say that I did get a 50-50 split. And I, and I went out of town. That would be more than enough for me to get a head start. Somewhere where the price, where the cost of living is good. I could buy a house, pay up the taxes, pay up the utilities, and look for a job. I would have a plan in place. That's all you have to show for your criminal activity? And you still owe all that money back? Oh, man. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? doing? Poor, poor Nikki. And you're, you're a tough motherfucker. Yeah, that's how come uh, uh, Tim dragged you across the street by your feet. I guarantee he wouldn't drag me across the street by my feet. And most of the people listening out here, he wouldn't blue, salami nugget, uh, rabbit old bat. He wouldn't drag us across the street by our feet. But he dragged you because you're a little pussy. You're a little bitch. That's what they called you in prison. Hey, bitch. You know what? Mm -hmm. A simple roll would have gotten out of that hold. Simple roll. I bet you that was your name in prison. They, they call you Corky outside of prison, but inside of prison they called you bitch, didn't they? Yeah, they did. You, you came out without your dentures. Why? Because they don't like the teeth scraping on them. That's why. They threw them things away because they wanted you to have those soft gums. Yeah, that's right, Nick. You were gummer. Send gummer over to my place. Send the gummer, bitch. That's what you would hear in the cell block at night. Passed you around from cell to cell. That's what they did. You're not afraid to go back to prison. See, the thing is, is that when you do fucked shit, you don't tell nobody. You don't tell nobody you do fuck shit. That's just it. Don't tell nobody you do fuck shit. The only reason you'd want to go back to prison is get pounded in the ass again, huh? Because that's about what would happen. So anyway, Nick, I hope this pissed you off because you pissed me off talking about veterans. And it's not because of rabbit old bat. Any veteran you talk about in that way, I'd be pissed because you're a, you're a fucking piece of shit. And every veteran 
is more of a man than you'll ever be in your entire life. Maybe that's why you don't like him because you'll never be a man like any veteran. Right? You hear that? I'm more man than you are, bitch. And I'm a woman. Right? Anybody in the armed services, the stuff they have to go through. And you had a rough life. You didn't have a rough life. You don't even know what a rough life is. So shut the fuck up. Hey, Von Beardo. All right, I'm going to pause for the cause. I will be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I had to take a nick, but all I had to do was pee. Uh, now, where were we? Oh, okay. Let's find something else. Let's see if we got anything coming from the horse's mouth today. And we do. Okay. Bruce wants threesome with Darren and Rabbit Old Bat. God, this is going to be hard without weed. Jeez, these are dark in this. Anyway, I can pretend I'm TJ. Look, I'm TJ. I wear sunglasses all the time so nobody has to look, look me in the eye because I'm kind of a bitch. I don't want to be looked in the eye because they'll see that I'm a fucking liar and a coward and a pussy. You are. Anyway, I, I'm just kidding. April Fool's, everybody. I'm not TJ. I'm not TJ. That was me being, you know, doing April Fool's. Uh, it's really me, Nick. So you get to look me in the eye. 
I'd rather not. Whether you want to or not. So there we go. Put those back up there. Anyway. Ew. Um. Brandy Grant. Brandy Grant. The bed is in the meeting. Go to the naughty corner. Just go. Hit it. Just go. Just go. Hit it. Let's see if anybody picks up this uh, live stream. The live stream of the live stream. Let us see. Let us see. Nobody will pick it up. Nobody is watching. Nobody is watching. It is probably early in the morning. And I think it's quite April since it's April Fool's. I think everybody is kind of just. It's hey, weird. Randall it's Perry, like, how you doing? It's holiday. And everyone just kind of shuts down. Everyone kind of shuts down because it's boring. No. Anyway. TJ's a good looking kid. You look like a smashed a bag of smashed assholes. So I hope you uh, all enjoyed the latest video that I put up exposing uh the uh, <laughs> the uh the Jacksonville, Florida skunk ape. Uh, on its uh, apparently in Florida they let skunk apes drive. I I'm just I don't I don't know about that man. I mean, you know. Oh, they're letting, hey, Bon Beardo. They're letting a skunk ape. Love drive you too, Bon Beardo. In a sisterly way. Awesome. So. La, 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 la. Nobody is watching, but I do have one thumbs up, so that's a good thing. Who thumbs up um, that? You know who thumbs up that shit? You know who thumbs up that shit? Fucking Sabella thumbs up that shit. That's who thumbs up it. I really hate this. Like this, it's all cloudy and gray. This is all shitty outside. Just all nasty. It's like 40 degrees. Uh, last week, the weather said that it was going to be like 56 or something, and then upwards to like 70 uh, at the end of the week. But uh, nope, next Saturday, it is going to snow yet again. Uh, I really do not like this weather. I really do not like it at all. Um, anyway, so mm -hmm. if anybody wants to chat, uh, we can do that. Is chat available? Live chat, live chat, live chat. No one is chatting, but they're watching. I have one person watching. Uh, oh, you're really breaking them in, aren't you? I am bored, bored, bored. Find something to do. I'm really looking forward to going on vacation. Somewhere hot. Don't worry sunny. about that. Uh, I I have heard like a couple things about like a storm system that they're worried uh, might be uh, might cover the eclipse. I hope not. But I I would not put it past the elites to. Uh, deny the peasants the joy of seeing the eclipse because you know, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the the peasants. You know, were, were pe I am not a fucking peasant. Speak for your fucking self. Peasants, as far as the elite are concerned. But uh, I I think that I'm going to be. Uh, you know, very happy when we go on vacation. I'm gonna have to drive 10 hours though, so that's gonna be a little bit brutal. But hey, it could be worse. I could have to drive for 20, and that's fine. I'll just get my energy, uh, those energy shots and uh, whatnot. Uh, it's just.
So give, let me get this straight. You're going to be driving on for 20 hours on a car with bad brakes. Real smart. You're both, you're, you're both real smart. Because I would be insisting that the brakes got fixed. Instead of saving your money for little toys that don't make, that don't mean anything. Get your fucking brakes fixed. Slow news day, so it's like I'm not even going to bother. There are some other topics that I wanted to talk about, but um, I, I did see a lot of the uh, stuff on the trans thing. Apparently, the uh, uh, the the man, yes, trans women are men. Sorry to have to break it to you folks. Uh, the the man in a dress who is responsible for making uh, Easter Sunday uh, transphobe, the, the trans day of visibility. Um, I was seeing on Twitter, it's basically some morbidly obese, ugly fucker that looks a lot like David Anthony. <laughs> really just like no neck, huge man boobs, uh, just like obviously a man. And uh, because he's in a dress, he wants to be called a woman, which I think that's a psych. That's okay. Sabella kind of looks like a man. You still bang her. Ecological issue right there. Um, I mean, if anything, if I was, if I, if, if I would have been president, then I would have been like, uh, okay, um, Trans Day of Visibility will make it April April first. We'll make it April first because then at least you know it'll be a kind of a nod to like yeah you know we'll, we'll pretend you're a woman but we all know that you're really a man you know and then I saw a couple of like um, on Twitter I saw a couple of like uh, meme things and do I need to play itty bitty titties again and show everybody your titties you no neck bastard I'm gonna start calling you no neck Nick it, it, here's the thing here's the thing you never hear about trans men being violent or committing <laughs> uh, SA. Right? You don't you don't hear about that. It's always it's always these trans women, men in dresses, who are doing the dirty deed of uh, violating women in women's spaces. Uh, I'm getting like no no chatting. No, is chatting been on? I would hope so. Maybe everybody's just tired. Maybe it's because it's cold and cloudy and nobody wants to do anything today. You know, it, it's one of those weird things of like a holiday. Hello, Stardust. You know, it, it's like it's a holiday. Plus, also, it's like nasty weather outside. It's like people just don't want to be doing anything. Um, I did notice, you know, Carrie fighting with Firefly. And I really just kind of hope that those two just, you know, cancel each other out, you know. Maybe they'll, uh, you know, maybe they will, uh, you know. Let me see what you got there. You just one second to get there. Okay. Thank you for that, uh, coffee artist. Corky, you got a fucking bench warrant. Whether they'll pick you up on that warrant if they pull you over or not, 
I don't know. I don't even know if your tags are legal on that thing. Well, I guess we'll know soon, huh? And uh, you're going to drive on a long distance on bad fucking brakes. That's a recipe for fucking disaster. I don't want to see you two get hurt. Please, for the love of God, get those damn brakes fixed. I'll find a way to uh, uh, get each other's channels deleted. That'd be kind of awesome. Yeah, I did. It really would be. Yeah, I did. It really would be. If we're carrying to lose her channel, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm not being very nice at all. And no, I. Uh, nobody shy. What's good, Nick? Hello, Underhaven. Well, Sibeli is uh, at an appointment, getting stuff done. So I'm just sitting in the car waiting for her to come back out. And, uh, you know, I'm just like, uh, bored, 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 bored. All right. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going yeah, to take that long. start a poll. That's why I'm just kind of sitting here. But it's because get to the fucking point and piss me off already. We are going to do a poll. Will Corky and Stabby's trip end well? This is like by the time I get home and start doing anything, uh, it'll it'll be over and then I'll have to come pick her up. So it's like, yeah, might as well just save gas and sit in the car. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, and you know Nick's got a... But I do definitely want to get mid journey. Now, you know, Nick isn't going to be doing the speed limit and the speed limit's 75. You know, he's going to be doing 80 or 90. You know, he will. He's, he's admitted. So he's admitted that he's a lead foot. He's as much as admitted to being a lead foot. So. You know. This, this is not going to end well. Not with those brakes the way they are. I hope they get super lucky and those brakes hold up. I really do. But I don't see this going well. <coughs> Make some thumbnails with Mid Journey. Uh, do all that stuff so I can get that uh, taken care of. Anyway... So, man, I don't know, maybe I'll just have a cigarette. Maybe that's what I need to do. <clears throat> well, Carrie is using Midjourney on a regular basis. And there's another program called Dolly. She's been using it for a while to make thumbnails. And I think that, like, uh, you know, because I I don't put up thumbnails at all, and uh, it's it's just a bad habit, you know. Yeah, it works publicly, but it, you have to pay ten bucks a month in order if you if you actually want to create stuff. ChatGPT doesn't uh, make pictures. Chat GP doesn't make pictures. <clears throat> Dolly pictures? Okay. Yeah, but the thing with it is, is like, isn't there, like, what gives you more freedom? Because I, I've heard that, uh, I've heard that Dolly has lots of restrictions.
Will you get to the fucking point? I want to kind of make uh, uh, well, yeah, but how much is it? Is it like 10 bucks a month or something? <clears throat> Just spat rap your prompts with uh, uncentered. I'm not sure what the. I, I would have to watch some tutorials on how to use it because I know. Uh, I don't know how Carrie is. I mean, she does really good thumbnails. I got to give her that. But I don't know um, how to do that stuff. And it's like, I really wish I would have had patience for video editing. Starting with uncentered. <sighs> yeah, I mean, uh, like she does do really good thumbnails, and I, I need. And you know what? You've just leveled a very serious accusation against me. I really wish you'd fucking get to it rather than this fucking bullshit. And the only reason I'm letting it play front to back is because I don't want to be accused of cutting it up and uh, taking it out of fucking context. God, you're a jughead. Need to figure out what she's using. Not that I'm going to copy her, but... <clears throat> There, there is something definitely to be said for using good thumbnails because it's how people... People don't watch my shit because it's like the thumbnails are all the same fucking thing. So unless I take a picture of myself or something and then it's like, okay, what is the what does the picture have to do with the video? And nine times out of ten, nothing. <clears throat> Spell is going to be mad at me for smoking a cigarette. I should not be doing this. There we go. You know what? I feel you on that one, Nick, because it's damn hard to give it up. Yeah, that's about yeah, about half that. So not even half. I'm just gonna put it out. <clears throat> Be done with it. If it'll actually go out. <sighs> but um <clears throat> yeah <sighs> you know the nice thing about this car is the heater works really well and that's gonna help, that's gonna come in useful like it heats up really fast <clears throat> and then it pours out a lot of heat so yeah, um, I'm just, uh, I really, uh, Hey bro guy, what's up? I'm dizzy, a little bit of dizziness, but anyway, I really need to do that. I really need to get, uh, stop smoking. <clears throat> You like Comson thing. I don't know what that means. No, I have, I have, uh, I think I have Interstellar on DVD. So I am going to do it. I am going to do it. <coughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I will steal the UFO. Because UFOs are for stealing. It's a team I picked up on. Cool. Well, and I <clears throat> I made a video about Burris earlier today. He's laughing. His stupid laugh. It, it's like he doesn't fucking get that it, we know it's him. 
and then it keeps interfering with people in real life, and it's just like, it really has to fucking stop. Uh, part of it, though, is going to be that, like, <clears throat> we just really do need to move. Yeah, they bought all that fucking junk, but they won't fix their brakes. Um, <clears throat> and not be uh, fucking around with that. Um, five people watching. <clears throat> Everything. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Mm. And I, I, I've given up on a couple of my trolls because it's just like, uh, it's clear that they're going to deliberately misunderstand things. <clears throat> you know, I, I thought Dapperton liked me. I thought that, you know, we got along fine when, when he interviewed me that one time years and years ago. Um, and now he wants to like make videos about me. Well, it's the same damn video over and over and over and over. I think he's going to get, he thinks he's going to get like clicks and views and subscribers. And it's like, I think he's kind of given up on his libertarian message. You know, I, I, I really did respect the guy back in the day and he just, an excuse to behave badly. Just like with, you know, atheists or communists or activists but they're still going after people who were there uh they're still putting people in prison there's still people in prison who were arrested shortly after they're still rotting in jail um you know the trial their their trial right um or their hearing is just continually pushed further ahead and uh, it, it, it's kind of scary what the government's doing as far as free speech. Um, you know, and, and it's like the idiots, most of the idiots on YouTube, they sit there and they go, well, as long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. The problem is by the... There is nothing affecting free speech, you imbecile. You're a conspiracy theorist. You're paranoid. Time they're forced to care, it's going to be too late to do anything. Just, uh, you know, not fun outside at all. So, what is, you're not getting my notifications. Are you clicking the bell? And 60 or no 260 just a second no cigarettes i had a quarter of one i need to not smoke anymore I told you i told everybody she'd be mad <laughs> he's mad at me no, i'm kidding anyway she's gonna smack me no i'm kidding ah worst thing she'll do is you know is my battery low okay i guess not I'm just, that's another thing we're going to take our computers with, we're going to take different stuff with. The, the going over, that's going to take like three hours. So, I don't know. Um, I saw that Carrie was fighting with Firefly, I already said that. Um, She is in her meeting, and they're going to deployment. It's a meeting. Yeah, because I mean, I'm going to ever get rid of Carrie. Um, It's none of those.
Ain't no one really matters but cats. Now, all that, that fucking title, and he didn't say that one fucking time. Not one fucking time. What was the purpose in that? What was the fucking purpose? What was the fucking purpose? That was ridiculous. That was fucking ridiculous. Let's go to Broglum Chronicles. Just having a morning stream. Let's check our poll. Eighty-eight percent of you said that uh, it wasn't going to end well. Twelve, eighteen percent of you said it what? Twelve percent of you said it was going to end well with twenty-four votes. I can guess who said it was going to end well. Corky, you're deluding yourself. Chill it out. Moonshine at 10 a.m. I'll go live when I fucking feel like it. What is up, YouTube? It is April Fool's Day, and the only fools I see are the uh, YouTube trolls. Chilling out like a rock star villain. I'm gonna wait for my Patreon money to come in and I'll do the monthly Patreon shout outs. God, he looks horrible. You're not gonna see when I pack up or move or when I have to hey, get out. Tell dog how you doing. That's none of your damn business. Come on in. Take your shoes off. Sit on the couch. Relax. Oof. Do I use the bathroom? Hold on. Nice. Sorry about that. I had to, uh, Take a wicked shit, and I feel better after taking it. All right, he took a big old Nick Bravo. Cool. And uh, I also won the lottery. <laughs> April Fools. Oh, <laughs> well yeah, I got a little, a little bit of that in me, you know. <laughs> Is he really tall? Awesome. I do hope I find Puff so I can get some closure on this. No, no, no. Aussie no, rules, no, no, that. Baby, no. Don't drink moonshine in the morning. You drink beer in the morning. Moonshine afternoon. What was that? 
you can get banned from my channel. If you're going to talk shit on Ozzy Osbourne, you're going to get banned from my fucking channel. I'm not playing around. Ozzy Osbourne is like my John Lennon. You know what I'm saying? So you don't fucking say that crap. Drinking already? Why not? It's April Fool's and I feel like tying one on. <laughs> Last week was not the best week for me, but this week's going to go a lot better. I got a good feeling about that. Oh, Smoky Peach Moonshine. Yeah, let's go. That is smooth. Like silk. It is sad. Granny was What's hurt. up, brother? It's Diddy with you. Yeah, I read that correctly. Thank you for your uh, donation, Hunter. I appreciate it. Hey, no, all I can do is just keep a cool head about this whole situation and keep doing my thing. Oh, nice. Like I said in last night's live stream, I did get evicted, and that wasn't because of Jessica entirely. It's my YouTube trolls, they found out where I lived, and they basically harassed this place nonstop. And, yeah, just leave it, leave it at that. Jessica's bullshit didn't exactly help either, but she's, and I have, we have talked to each other and apologized. You know, when it comes to Jessica, I'd, I'd rather talk things out privately off camera and just hash it out like adults. Like, as soon as people found out I had a girlfriend, they immediately started harassing Jessica. As soon as they find out where I live, I get harassed at the apartments that I live at. And it's Okay, everybody, like, share, and subscribe to uh, Toilet Bowl Food Review. He's got a great channel, does great reviews. Pretty awesome. Check him out. I did. I like his channel. I check him out quite a bit myself. So uh, y'all like, share, and subscribe to him, too. Reach down, give his uh, subscribe button a little tickle, and slap his like button on the way out. It's kind of bullshit, but that's just the mentality of my asshole YouTube trolls. They don't want me to have a girlfriend or be in a place where I'm happy kind of thing. You know, it's just, it's sad to be honest. It just shows you that. Cobes, you are lit. The, the Nile is not just a river in Egypt. You are living in denial, my friend. You are living in denial. Jessica has just nuked your life. She nuked it. She fucking nuked it. She's more destructive than a, t a 20 kiloton nuke. And I'm sorry, dude. You got to get rid of her. That my trolls are so fucking miserable. They're probably still stuck in their mommy's basements. Or something. I don't know. Honestly, I feel sorry for my fucking YouTube trolls. Because your life has to be so goddamn miserable. That an autistic person such as myself triggers you. I hate sickos more than I love cobras and I get bullied for it. And quite frankly, I'm sick of that too. But who the fuck bullies somebody for hating sickos? Like the level of it's just become a thing now where it's like, oh bully cobra, ha 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 ha. 
And the only assholes that are laughing at it are the assholes doing it. No one else thinks it's funny. They're like, wow, dude, what's your fucking problem? But I will get into a better place. It just sucks that I have to leave the conquistadors as I do thoroughly enjoy this apartment complex. I mean, a name drop like that, but I'm getting kicked out, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> no, I didn't mean to just name drop like that, but you know, I like living up here. It's a nice, nice area, good people. Been- yeah, and you know what, Cobes? You should have known the bitch was bad news the first time. Second time around is on you, my friend. I only have the one strike rule. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool fool me twice, shame on me. People wonder why I have such a heavy hand. It's because if somebody screws me once, they're going to screw me again. And again. And she's going to keep doing this, Josh. She can't control herself, even when she's sober, which is rarely. So, I don't know what you're going to do here. I've never had any problems with my neighbors. I've always paid my rent on time. You know, so the the only fucking issue, of course, would be my YouTube trolls pretending to be my neighbors, submitting customer complaints where there was none to be had in the first place. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do another poll. This is just for me. This is just see, just see, just. Just as a litmus test. And I want your honest answer. (laughs) And there's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. You know, I appreciate everything that Daniel has done for me as a landlord. He's one of the best landlords I've ever had. But uh, you can only put up with so much. <laughs> dude. And it's not fair to him. And it's certainly not fair to me. So, what do you do? But when exactly am I kicked out of the conquistadors? When am I moving out? That's none of your damn business. How many poo statues do you have over there? You've got one that turned white. It's been sitting there so damn long. You need to get a putty knife and some and some kids and pets over there and start scrubbing, buddy. It really is none of your damn business. The new owners of the Conquistadors basically saw all the crap my trolls were pulling. And they were so mortified that they kicked me out. No one ever bothered to contact Daniel and be like, so what's the deal with all these one-star reviews and all these... Von Beardo, your statues belong in a toilet. 
They belong in a toilet. Oh, that's just our residential autistic being fucked with by the internet because these people are losers. It just shows you that I win and I rule my trolls' sad lives. Otherwise, they wouldn't care. If I have a girlfriend or if I got an apartment, you know what I'm saying? I've been up here for five years. Well, Never once received a complaint from my neighbors. But the second I get a girlfriend and bring her over, you know, it's, it's not her fault. It's mostly my trolls' faults. So they can't handle the fact that, oh my God, we got Cobra kicked out of his last apartment. So we're going to bully him until he gets kicked out of the second one. But, like, what are you going to do when I get my own house? Oh, I understand, Von Beardo. You're a sick bastard. You make sculptures out of your poo along with your brother, David Anthony. Both of you are sick bastards. Oh, my God. Y'all are just sick. Y'all need a jacket. That helps you hug yourself. House. You know, what are you going to do when I get my own house and me and my family are the owners? You know, you're not going to be, be able to do shit is what, is what that's about. And that's a possibility, you know. We'll, we'll keep the options. I'll find another house, another apartment, whatever. You know, I've been looking nonstop. I've seen the options of which I can afford. And we'll just, we'll make it happen and do what I can. Literally, every time they've gotten me fired from a job or kicked out of an apartment, I've always gotten a better situation. You know, so the trolls lose 100%. Do they lose? Because every time they fuck me over, I get into a better situation. And it just makes them look, look like assholes for trying. It's not the trolls this time. Your neighbors were complaining on you. The police were being called. She went crazy. Or were you not there for it? Do we have to replay the video? I really don't want to. Because it fucking triggers the hell out of me. It takes me to a dark fucking place. That I don't even like thinking about. So at this point, I'm just like, well, based off my track record, I'm going to get into something better that the trolls can't fuck with. And then on top of it, they're just going to look like dumbasses for trying. And then as soon as I do get into a new spot, everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, what's your new address? None of your fucking business. And I say, what if? It's like, hey, what if I get into a bigger place? And what the fuck are my trolls going to do? So they're going to quiet about it because they don't know my new address. So all i got to say to my YouTube fans is give my trolls hell. Give them hell. You want to become a spitter spy fucking fuck up my trolls? Then go for it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Most people don't have the time or the energy to do it. deal with that kind of crap. But I think it'd be hilarious if my trolls got a taste of their own goddamn medicine. But to a degree where they're like, okay, you know what? I'm done fucking with Cobra. Th this week is going to be a good week for Cobra. You know what? You should have been done fucking with Jessica after the shit she pulled this last time. Everything she touch touches turns to caca. She's destructive. She's she's an addict. 
She's worse than you. Would you have to tell her she needs to slow down on her drinking? There's a problem. And now she's taking up du huffing duster. Which makes her even more crazy. Hmm. It's going to be an amazing week for Cole Brown. Last week didn't go so hot, but this week is going to be a lot better. I got a good feeling about it. Hmm. I hear my phone going off, but I'm not going to answer it. Oh, wow. It's a number I do not recognize. But in all seriousness, YouTube, things will get better. I'm going to get into a better place. I got to go. That's got to be some powerful pussy. There is no dick on the face of the planet that could have me that enamored. None. To me, sex is an act. If it's not done between two people that are in love, it's just an act. And it means nothing outside the bonds of love. So there's no, there's no way I could be swayed by sex. I have to be swayed by your personality. I am not swayed by looks. I am not swayed by sex. I am not swayed by money. I am swayed by personality. And charm. And if you're a little weird, I like me, I like me some uh, nerdy weirdos. Good feeling about this. I saw a bunch of trolls pretending to be customers <laughs> and, and neighbors at the conquistadors and sitting there fucking leaving all this negative crap in my honor, apparently. So the combat that I'm like, hey, this is the real King Cobra. And I got to say this. I love living at the Conquistadors. Dan is an awesome landlord. And uh, fuck my trolls. Yes, she is. I left a five-star review, basically. <sighs> See, if I, if, 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 if I lose... The trolls wouldn't care that, oh, okay, Cobra's got an apartment. Oh, my God. So, who cares? You know what? There's a, there's a saying, there was a saying amongst the guys whenever I was in, and that's don't stick your dick in crazy. You just broke the cardinal rule, my friend. You stuck your dick in crazy. You did. Now you're stuck with it. Because if you think that bitch won't hitchhike halfway across the country just to come to see your ass, you're nuts. Or come find your ass. And he evidently doesn't care enough about her to save up the money to come to have her brought to his place. Because he didn't come up with the damn money to for her to come visit. Apparently, the only thing he likes about her is her private parts. You see, he said, you know, he, he 
misses her in a way or something to that effect when she's not being, you know, that's, those were his exact words. There's where he lives. He doesn't go out of his way to fuck with where we live, but we're going to do it to him because our obsession with Cobra is really unhealthy. Uh, I don't know what, what issues Jessica has, and I'm not going to properly diagnose her because I cannot <laughs> legally make those claims. Uh, Jessica did not do anything. She uh, she's trying to love me, and she's got some she's got some problems, and so do I. So that's why I don't judge her for it. My trolls are the reason. Yeah, but you don't go go around smashing up your fucking apartment and going paranoid on everybody. Now, do you? That's why I got evicted. I mean, did Jessica help with that situation? No. Did I help with that situation? By fighting with her? No, I did not. But the main reason I got evicted is because of my YouTube trolls. No. No. Let's just. The reason why you got evicted was because of that mess of a fucking female that you had. She's a mess. And not in a cute, fun way. In the sad, angering, destructive way. You know, I'm a bit of a mess, but, you know, it's kind of in a fun way. She's a mess in a not-so-fun way. Let's be real about this. The trolls are the reasons why I got kicked out of my apartment. They literally did anything they could to fuck with the conquistadors. Pretending to be neighbors. Submitting complaints nonstop. And the new owners were just sick of it. They're like, you know what? No. No one bothered to be like, oh, hey, this dude's autistic. He doesn't cause trouble with his neighbors. Or anyone, he just does his thing, and people can't handle it. Uh, 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 uh. But I appreciate it. Being a wanker shouldn't be a full-time job, Cobes. Just saying. Being a wanker shouldn't be a full-time job. She'll watch and I'll catch you later. Here's one. Oh, you know what? Let's play this one. I mean, Bruce wants to fucking do something. I mean... I mean, it's not enough that he's contacted your mother. and He contacts Halloween all the time. He's fucking stalking us constantly. Uh, you know, Bruce I, Bruce, I am not afraid to go back to prison. I'll just tell you that right now, Bruce. Um, so <laughs> don't, don't bother showing up. However, on the other hand... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wizard. <laughs> Didn't quite make it to the bathroom in time, did you? <laughs> You pissed your fucking pants. Dude, you don't have any problem going back to prison, I bet. What the fuck ever, idiot. 
I yeeted myself that time. <laughs> I yeeted myself. <laughs> no, it wasn't StreamYards that time. I yeeted myself like a dumbass. Like, what have I done to deserve this? All right, let's check on our poll. I, I hope you all fucking die. Oh, I guess people want to see what the food looks like. All right, let's check on our poll. No, I yeeted myself. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 50% said yes and 50% said no with 16 with 16 votes. Wow, that's very interesting. Very interesting. So they can see how burnt it is. Okay. So half of you can tell and half of you can't tell a difference. Yeah, got the weird smelling sauerkraut. We got oh provolone cheese. I gotta get that. Oh shoot! Oh, that's like toasting really weird. Okay. Can you fucking respect me? This is my chat. I don't want to talk about it. Respect me. Can 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 you do that? I literally stop. You're, you're wasting your time, but I guess you like to waste your time. I am just asking, respect me. I don't want to talk about it. What me and Josh have talked about is not between y'all. Yes, were some things fucking on stream? Yes. Was a lot of it a mistake? Yes. But the end result is none of your business. Thank you. We're not perfect. Yeah, we're going to have fucking things. And as long as we can talk. No one else can respect you if you don't, if you don't respect yourself. You have to respect yourself, which you don't. Through and work, then okay, but none of what we said in between all of that is any of your business. I don't care if you're on my side. I need stress free, is what I'm saying. Stress free. That's just what I want. I'm so fucking sick right now. The hospital tells me there's nothing wrong with me. I want stress free. Is that, can, can I have that, please? I'm not posting about our relationship. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Show me where I posted about our relationship. No, I didn't. I'm quitting and blocking them, bitch. Please. They're blocked for a reason. Quit doing it. I'm not talking about me and Josh's relationship, though. Get it through your fucking skull. Show me where I last said anything. I haven't. I did a bath stream. I did cooking. Show me where I am talking about this. I'm not. You are. I'm asking you to fucking goddamn fucking stop. My stream has. God, she is such. She is. She is so temperamental. She is so temperamental. Every little thing. Every little fucking thing. 
Wait a minute. I just saw something a little more interesting. He must be asleep because I've tried calling him, so. I don't have his dad's number. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to deal with this. My apologies. Aaron's at work. Hello? What the fuck do you want me to fucking do? I don't fucking live in Casper, Wyoming. Turn the chat off. Just turn the fucking chat off. I'm done. Turn the chat off, please, all the way. Well, considering I don't wash myself in the bath because I'm already clean when I take a bath, because who wants to soak in dirty water? Um, I, I'm sorry you don't know what hygiene is. If you literally wash yourself in dirt water, I feel bad for you. Yeah. I'm not unbanning anybody. I'm not unbanning anybody. That is somebody with a name that is fake fucking with me. I'm not, if I'm banning somebody, I'm banning them. There's a fucking piece of shit in here with my fucking name, and it's not me. Yes, I saw the name. Yeah, that is not me. If I ban somebody, it's because I'm banning them. I'm not fucking psychotic, like banning under. No, if I ban you, it's because I'm banning you. Because these people are fucking sick. That's why. Oh, well, since Geeko, you care about his dry spell so much, you should um, fuck him in the ass. Yeah. Since you care so much, why don't you do the honors and give your asshole up? Oh, my God. This woman is just vile. You know, there's times when I feel very bad for her. And I know she's speaking from a place of pain. But, oh, my God. I, I was never this vitriolic. I just looked really ratty. And didn't take care of myself. That was my deal. Hurt can manifest in a lot of ways. Self-loathing, anger. And like I said, I just didn't take care of myself. No, I did. Yeah, well, offer your butthole up, baby doll. Offer it up. Since since you care about it so much, then you do it. Just like I cared about Josh, that's why Josh is my boyfriend now. You can fuck off. And offer your asshole to any man who comes your way.
Sorry about that, guys. The stream was getting ready to crash, and I thought I'd go ahead and reload it. I can stream wherever the fuck I want, you fucking retard bitch. This is where I choose to fucking be. Hello, I'm in the bath, retard. I'm sorry. You Why don't you just calm the fuck down? You're not the only one that's been hurt. You're not the only one. You need counseling. And like I said, the offer to talk is still on the table. This beating people up verbally has got to stop. I know you're in pain. I know it. And you know, it's never going to get any better until you get fucking help. Ever. You don't know what a bath is. <laughs> Tell me to chill after you fucking abuse me. Shut the fuck up. Because I'm taking a fucking bath, you motherfucking retard. Seriously, I think as much as I wanted to sleep on my side today, because it's a gel and it literally, uh, I still gotta go to Walmart and get Tylenol. Ugh, I gotta, I'm so tired of this. I don't feel good. I seriously need somebody to listen to me. Duh. I literally showed the doctors what I got out of my throat yesterday and, and they still dismissed me. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I, I, I don't even have a ride to, to this other place. I don't even have... They said it would feel worse, go somewhere else, and I don't even have a ride. Well, Jessica, you've managed to drive everybody away. That's what happens when you drive people away. You can't shriek at people and expect them to help you. It's just not the way it works. Oh, and they tell me there's nothing wrong with my chest when I just cough that out, okay? I don't even have a ride to go to this other place. Otherwise, I would be there. I am in so much pain right now. This isn't even funny anymore. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. I need to find a way to get up there. I don't feel good anymore. Hotter than the devil. Hell yeah. Rock on my baby. You're repulsive. Well, that wraps it up for me today. For
for me uh, for the moment. I will uh, catch you cats later. But for right now, I want to thank everybody that came out and joined me today. You guys rock. I don't care if you were here for 10 minutes, 10 seconds, or the whole thing. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You know why? Well, do you? It's because nobody else will. Now, y'all take care, and I will see you later. Bye.